So as you can see, just a normal lawnmower. I've got a crazy idea in my head about lifting this thing. What's going on guys? Welcome back today to the Justin Hawksmith channel. As you can see behind me, I have a very clean Troy built lawnmower. I've got a crazy vision in my head for this lawnmower. So she runs good. You know, just a normal lawnmower. Crazy idea in my head about lifting this thing. And the way that the front end's designed, there's literally one bolt right here holding the lower like the lower spindle type ordeal thing on here. So, I think what I can do is take that bolt loose and take it out and weld on some plate steel, whatever size lift I want, all the way down through here, drill new holes <coughs> and bolt this cross member back up. Therefore giving me more lift in the front. Now the rear on the other hand, a little bit harder. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna leave the rear alone and it's gonna be a squatted lawnmower. Now go ahead and blow up the comments talking about how retarded I am and how stupid squat is and how broke people are that can't afford rear lift kits and so on and so forth but we're going to be taking all of the stickers off of this taking the whole cab i guess you'd call it like the whole body the hood dismantling everything having it all sandblasted and every bit of it powder coated we're going to pull the deck off put the lift kit on we're going to do something cool with the steering wheel I'm going to get me like a crazy knob or something for this. Maybe a crazy knob for this thing. And I'm going to reupholster this seat. Like snakeskin or something like retarded. Then we're going to do like some retrofitting on the grill. And put us a big light bar in there. And maybe... Maybe put light pods in the headlight holes. Or at least swap that over to LED. we got to do something. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this muffler and try to build some custom piping that turns it and takes it up through here. I don't know if you can even see back in there. Back in there, and we're gonna put a hood stack on it. Okay, so a squatted, hood stacked lawnmower, fully powder coated, the same powder coat color that we're about to do on the F-250, so stay tuned for that. I had all of that. I just repainted all everything underneath that truck. I just repainted it black. So we're still going to do more stuff to the F-250. This is just going to be like a little, a couple different episodes of trying to build a lift kit for a lawnmower. So we're going to go ahead and start the teardown process, which really just consists of pulling like this body off and the old hood. And then we're going to be able to uh, then we'll have to drop the deck. Let's see, so first we'll pull out these bolts. Okay. Look at that. Now we're getting somewhere. You all thought I was kidding. I posted this on my Instagram and on my Snapchat. And you all probably thought that I was just kidding. But I'm full blown about to squat the piss out of this lawnmower. And then I'm going to keep it in the back of my truck. And we're going to take this baby to some truck shows and have some transportation driving around the parking lot. Not that I need it. But why not just have a squatted lawnmower to drive around instead of walking? I mean, you know? Duh. I mean, I guess I could just powder coat it and leave it. Either way, this baby's getting powder coated. I don't know if we're going to be able to do the lift or not, but I'm going to try my best. So we're going to figure it out. So it looks like the grill... The grill comes apart with a bunch of like eight millimeter bolts. 
So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead and get an 8 mil out and tear this thing apart. Oh yeah. Oh boys. Now we're getting somewhere. So we got the grill out. Look at this. I, uh, this is cracking me up. I literally have my grill out of my lawnmower. What am I doing right now? I love it. So yeah. Got the grill out. Got the food. Set this bad boy over here. Now how do we get this off? Let's go ahead and drop this deck. <coughs> Deck's coming out, boys. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've got a cable attached. I think it's just a pin, though. I mean, rolls like a dream. Okay, got the deck off. I don't want to tear it apart too much, you know, because this is totally going to be reversible. <laughs> Check her out, boys. She's really coming along. I think we take off. Jesus Christ, what a spring. I think we're gonna take this off to get the seat off. Then we'll disconnect the battery. And then, I don't know how the old body's mounted. It don't look like it's mounted real good. I bet it's mounted with those bolts in there. Let's see, I'm gonna... No, I won't lose my gas pedal. Okay. So my next goal is to get this seat off. Okay, so I got the seat off. It worked like I thought it would. I left that whole big spring assembly just like as one and then just backed it up with the bolts. So I don't have to worry about losing those bolts. Now how's this bad boy? Oh God, he's loose. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. Set all your tools down in the gravels is a great place to work. Let's see. Hello? How does, what? How does that happen? Okay. Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna get that big monkey. Oh, oh. Oh, he just, oh man, does that one do the same thing? No, of course you have to be different, but that's okay. No way, nope, yeah, just yank him off there, brother. Okay, so we got the handles, got the grill, got all those parts. Let's see, can we just, man. You can just yank all the handles off. So now what's holding you, little Billy? Something back here is holding him. And I don't know what. One bolt. Gosh, it's getting dark. I think I've got one bolt right here. And then he should come off. I'm determined. I'm determined to lift the cab on this 6-0 before, before dark. We've got to get this thing bulletproofed. Dude. Very, very bright. Third brake light. 
got it on Amazon, but I'm gonna tell you it's Recon because Recon is the only LED light source that's worth buying. Just kidding. 35 bucks on Amazon and it's freaking bright. So, the cab, I keep on calling this thing the cab. The body, whatever, the seat and everything, literally goes on with this bracket right there. Does that mean you will come off? No. It still won't come off. Okay, I'm gonna keep on looking. It's getting dark. Okay, boys. I found out those little sneakers were hiding some bolts underneath that sticker. So we've got two bolts. Okay, I gotta change gotta change my socket size. Hold on. Okay, it's very crappy quality, but we're doing it right here. We're there. We're there, boys. We have officially Yeah. Okay, it's the next day. And we're going to go ahead and start taking all the stickers off of this. Look at what a unit. Fresh. Okay. So I still got to reupholster the seat and send all this stuff off to powder coat first i'm going to take the uh all the stickers and crap off and the little kick plates okay got all the stickers off just gotta pull off those little kick pads and you know what i'm gonna continue this video we're gonna do something else right quick see what size is that wheel okay so my goal is to get the same size back wheels no, you can take off, girl. on the front yeah you can take those off there's little things i'd have to break them no you can I'll, I'll i'll get them off anyway i want so right now like the front wheels are very very small and i want to get big wheels like off the back tires and put them on the front okay so we've got it jacked up Okay. How do you take the wheel off of a lawnmower? Should it come off now? Yes! Okay. Is that all that holds the front one on? Why, yeah? Huh. Okay, so that makes everything that makes everything a lot easier. Cause I feel like okay, how does this come on? I feel like I can cut this. I think Yeah, because that's straight. So literally all I have to do is cut this right here and extend that down and then that's gonna lift it easy piece of cake you know how to take this off you literally step back you literally just hit it right here and knock that completely out but first we're gonna take this car to key out and then that's how you disconnect the tie rod in pretty much well this is the whole ass tie rod bar and then you just knock this out just like that okay now we literally just have to extend this cut it right there keep that same bend everything and the lift is done okay so we figured out how to lift it on each side okay so we'll keep factory geometry suspension everything it will widen the stance which will be okay because the wheels in the back are bigger anyway so this is gonna 
go out. This is gonna go down. So from here, we'll literally just cut this right here, bring, drop this down, and then weld a tube right in between that. Same thing on the other side. And then literally, if I ever want to take this lawnmower back to original, like everybody keeps telling me that I'm ruining this lawnmower. In your face, bro. Literally, just had to buy these two pieces right here. Just had to buy these two pieces. And then we'll be completely back to original lawnmower. Now it will still be powder coated and it will still have a cool seat, but I'll show you all how I'm doing the seat too in the next video. So hope you guys like watching this YouTube video. Stay tuned for the next one. We will probably be upholstering the seat and I should have the lift kit done by the next video. And maybe even, this may just be two episodes. We can always, since these are gonna be ruined anyway, that might be enough room. Let's see, how does that go in there? Oh yeah. We can cut and shorten that and then tap this hole and then it will work with the wheels in the back. So we may have to have that one figured out by the next episode too. But I'm signing off. Like, subscribe, comment. Follow me on Instagram at Justin Smith. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.